In this video, I want to show you how you can gather information about um, about a specific function. So let's say you are you are in a coffee break in your um, biology lab, and um, you're talking with a colleague, and you are telling him about this kind of fancy problem you were having for days. And he tells you that yeah, back then a few years um, ago he had the same problem, and he was he was using R also, and he was using um, a specific function. And he would say, let's say the function was called um, Kamsa. Um, so now you are um, you are actually left with this with this helpful information, but you need to learn more about about this function and about how it can actually help you. So therefore, you would use um, the help function in R. Um, you could, for example, uh, type question mark. And in this case, let's say we are talking about um, the function comes up. Right. So we would we would have the help window um, down here. You could you could also just uh, just type in. Um, the function you are searching for in this field, and it would it would also give you the same output and and the same help function. So what do we learn? First of all, we see that um, the function comsum is part of the base package. Yeah, that's the first thing. So uh, we see what it's um, what it's about. So there is there is the heading, and um, we see the description. So um, basically, in this case, it tells us that it is about about cumulative sums. But we also see that there are some kind of let's say um, sister functions. So it's um, a family of functions. We have come sum, we have come prod, we have come max, and come min. Yeah. Um, for this function, we only need one argument, and um, it's it's x, so it's um, um, the argument x, which um, let's say in our case we have some kind of value vector, and um, this can be perfectly suitable um, to feed into this um, into this function. So we need a numeric or complex um, object uh, to be feed into it. So that's what we learn um, at these arguments. Um, sample or um, arguments um, section and um, uh, at this value section we would basically learn uh, what uh, what we can add what we can get out of this function or what what the result uh, should be in this case we learn that it is a vector which which has the same uh, length as um, as the vector we were feeding into um, the function then we see what it does with um, an a values, so values that are not applicable, and um, we also um, get some kind of example of how it is or how it can be used. And I think those those examples are quite are quite helpful, are, are quite helpful in times. So that was a rather simple um, function with only one argument but if we go for example for the for the histogram um, we see that um, that there are like many many arguments which um, which can be feed into this um, or which can be fed into this function and um, we would also see what are the default um, values or the default argument sections that are used when uh, when we are applying this kind of function. This was Martin from r-tutorials.com. Uh, concerning this video, you can of course leave a comment below. Um, if you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up, because that's some very important measure for us and that tells us that we are on the right track and that we are actually helping uh, people uh, to get better with R. Uh, furthermore, there are plenty of other videos about R on this channel and you are invited to also take a look on those uh, to get even deeper into R. 
And of course you can also take a look at the website r-tutorials.com where you can find more useful information about this program.